Hi, I'm Layo Adegoke. Here's your channel's TV evening news recap for February 11th, 2022. The Supreme Court has declared as unlawful and unconstitutional Executive Order 10 EO10 on the funding of state, judiciary and legislature. In a split decision earlier today, a majority of the court's seven-member panel agreed that the president exceeded his constitutional powers in issuing the EO10. The Apex Court also dismissed the 66 billion Naira suit filed by the state governors against the federal government. The Central Bank of Nigeria has revealed that it would stop the sale of foreign exchange to banks by the end of the year. According to the CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele, the decision was to enable banks to begin to source their forex from export proceeds and boost the country's foreign reserves through proceeds from non-oil exports. At least 10 people have been killed in a road crash involving a trailer in Katsina State. That's according to the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC. The spokesperson for the FRSC command in Katsina, Abubakar Usman, confirms the incident to Channel's television today. The trailer, loaded with 18 passengers and an unspecified number of cattle, was said to have lost control and crashed on Thursday night at Gora Village in Malumfashi local government area of the state. On the foreign scene, 12 people have been killed in clashes between herders and farmers in southern Chad, where ethnic friction over land is common. According to Governor of Moyen Chari Province, Ali Ahmad Akbach, a herder who was moving his animals was killed by farmers on Wednesday, and in a reprisal, other herders armed with guns killed 11 farmers. And in sports, West Ham manager David Moyes is in the spotlight ahead of his side's trip to Leicester on Sunday. With the build-up overshadowed by the fallout from a video showing defender Kurt Zuma physically abusing his cat, Moyes' decision to play Zuma in Tuesday's 1-0 win over Watford just hours after a video emerged of the Frenchman kicking and slapping his pet was seen by many as a misjudgment. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us for fresh updates tomorrow. I'm Layo Adegoke. Thank you for watching.